Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Well, today we are celebrating Shark Week. 23rd year of Shark Week on Discovery Channel. We really started forming a great partnership and they offered Philippe Cousteau to come and dive in our shark tank. So now it's a second year running and you know it's great because we are one of two aquariums in the country that offer the opportunity to engage with sharks in a cage in a tank and uh, just I think the icing on the cake is having Philippe Cousteau come during Shark Week dive in our tank. Every year for one week and primetime television, Discovery Channel devotes itself to educating the public about sharks, with specifically focusing on the plummeting shark populations and educating the public about what they can do to help stop that. Every year, we've been out here for two years now, actually, um, just talking to the public about Shark Week. They do amazing things in terms of ocean preservation and shark conservation, so they're an excellent partner for us to get the word out about Shark Week. These sharks, uh, unbelievably, were caught off of Jones Beach. Uh, our staff caught them, our Aquarius staff caught those sharks. They were three and a half feet long roughly and now they're you know, upwards of 11, 12 feet. So uh, you know, it's just for, for our staff to watch them grow and so healthy in the tank is, is also great. The sand tiger sharks, um, again local around Long Island and stuff, they won't eat anything unless they feel they can swallow it in one bite. So it really eliminates basically humans as a whole. Personally, I'm interested in the nurse sharks. Um, it is commonly known that sharks have to continuously move around 24-7 to breathe. Um, that's because the water will push the, um, through their gills, and that's how they'll like obtain oxygen and stuff. But the nurse sharks actually can do that on their own. They'll have what's called sphericals, and they'll do it for themselves. That's like my favorite fact out of all of them. You know, I was young the first time I saw a shark in, in the wild. Let's see, I was 16, I was diving, I saw my first shark. And uh, we were in Papua New Guinea, and I was on a research expedition there. Papua New Guinea is a small island just north of Australia. And I was swimming out on the reef, and it was a reef shark that was about the same size as me, it's about six feet. And it saw me, and it kind of came towards me, and then kept about a, about 30 feet away, 30, 40 feet away from me at all times. And it just slowly swam underneath me, and I think it was just curious. Shark attacks, to say they're rare is an understatement. Everybody is afraid of them for movies like Jaws and things like that. But uh, be a lot more afraid of crossing the street. It's a lot more dangerous. It's very educational coming here actually because we learn a lot about fish and also because it was Shark Week and to meet basically Philippe Cousteau mm -hmm. because while growing up we used to watch all his movies of his granddaddy. Jack Cousteau, so that's basically why we came out here also, to meet him and talk with him. I was kind of surprised that he didn't live in France anymore because his family's in France, so I was surprised that he told me that he was that he was living in Washington DC, basically. We love Shark Week, we love the aquarium, and we believe in conservation, and we like what the aquarium stands for. We've been seeing stingray sharks, penguins, and most of I like the little sea otters, they're so cute, their heads poke up. The sea lions and stuff, they still go on. Um, the shows that we have aren't necessarily shows. Those are training sessions for the behaviors and stuff. So the winter time, it's still full, like they're still out there, still doing their thing. They you see the trainers in like jackets and stuff, they're all cold. And the penguins, um, believe it or not, the penguins actually don't like the cold weather. They're more warm weather penguins. So when it gets too cold, we have to bring them inside sometimes. The otters, um, again, we have to bring them inside if it gets too cold but it's Long Island, we don't get that too cold, so. Um, but everything's still open in the winter. I mean, we clearly don't have people swimming outside, um, but everything, the shark dive, everything's still open in the winter. So it's just as much moving around as it is, it is in the summer and the winter. First of all, we're all about quality and not quantity. You know, we're not the largest in the world or, or even the country, but we offer great quality and we offer probably the most interactive things you can do. I mean, we have a, a terrific boat ride that you can go on, which is interactive, gets off on an island in Suffolk County Park and they're doing seining with nets. Uh, you know, we have a, a snorkel adventure where you're, you're snorkeling with, with sharks and, and rays and tropical fish from around the world. So, you know, we put you right in the tanks. Of course, a shark dive experience, which you're in a cage circling sharks, and we got a salt marsh and touch tanks. 
So we, you know, we really pride ourselves on being probably one of the most interactive aquariums in the country.